Biometric research is actually uh, very interesting for a material scientist because uh, most of the engineering materials in, in nature are really composites. And by composites we mean a material with fibers in a plastic matrix and uh, bone, uh, teeth, uh, horn, antler, all those materials in nature are really composite materials. And uh, we have a special interest then in cellulose um, composites, in plants primarily. So biomimetic research is, is really quite interesting and in particular cellulose fibers are really the main uh, load-bearing structure in trees. And we also use cellulose in paper and board products. But most of those products are really very brittle, very weak. We would really like to have much more um, flexible and uh, strong material. So if we take for instance a branch, it's very soft and uh, it's really not possible for us to make soft stretchy materials today. So we are hoping but by studying uh, tree structures, plant structures, we will be able to create much better materials for the future. I used to work on uh, composite materials for, based on carbon fibers and glass fibers used in the aerospace industry for automotive applications. And then I came to KTH and suddenly I had the opportunity to work with uh, researchers from many different fields. So I have now focused much more on uh, composites from, from cellulose fibers. The focus of our research in the biocomposites group is really on materials from cellulose fibers. And we're trying to make uh, nanostructured materials to have them inspired by nature because nature makes much smaller fibers and properties are much superior to synthetic composites. So this is our main ambition. I think the most interesting work is really when we're using cellulose nanofibers because by going down in size of the fibers we get much stronger, much more tough materials and I think this is really interesting for the future. And these materials are truly bio-inspired because this is what nature does, nanocomposites. An important uh, part of our work in the biocomposites group is also the work on porous materials. We can make aerogels that are, have only 1% of solid material, so 90%, 99% is air. So these materials have extremely good thermal insulation capability, for instance. We also work on foams, and our foams are as good as um, petroleum-based uh, plastic foams, and we think these biofoams will be quite interesting for packaging materials in the future. I think the main driving force for our interest in composite materials is, is really the curiosity with respect to how nature builds biocomposite materials. It's, it's really interesting to understand how nature does this and how we can transfer that knowledge to make new materials. I think interdisciplinary work is really the key here. We need to combine people from molecular biology, enzymology, bring those people together with, with us with a materials background and then we can collaborate towards new materials for the future. I, th I think it's very important to work together in particular with industry because Swedish industry is very strong on cellulose materials. So this is a major ambition with our work that we collaborate with industry and I think the Swedish industry really needs uh, new alliances in this uh, context because the forest industry needs to work together with automotive companies, with furniture companies to really bring these new materials into uh, realization. For the students in the research school I think there are really two main objectives. The first is to learn the terminology of the other disciplines and the second objective is really to come together and uh, build a common culture so that you can work together across the disciplines. That's really essential. So apart from working in the fiber and polymer technology department, I'm also directing the Wallenberg Wood Science Center. And this is a complementary effort to the Biomime Research School. In the Wallenberg Wood Science Center, the objective is uh, really new materials from trees. We will look for new ways of uh, coming up with products from trees which will support the industry of the future.